Hello, and welcome to Untwisted Threads. This yarn is called Shetland Heritage from Jameson and Smith. This 100% Shetland wool yarn features 18 colors to choose from. The colorway that we chose is Morit, a chocolatey brown. This 25 gram skein with 110 meters or 120 yards works up as a light fingering weight yarn. In today's video, we're going to review and score Shetland Heritage from Jameson and Smith using our five categories, which are availability, softness, traction, durability, and cost to help you decide if this is the best yarn for you in your next project. Let's get started. For availability, we give Shetland Heritage a score of three out of five. There are a couple of shops you're able to purchase this yarn from in the United States, but you'll mostly find it available in the United Kingdom where it originates from. I purchased mine from a larger craft website called Wool Warehouse, which shipped from Europe to here in the United States. For softness, we give it a score of three out of five. The goal of this yarn was to recreate original characteristics of the hand-spun yarn used in Far Isle garments in the 19th century. I wasn't able to get much of an accurate opinion for the softness of this yarn by feeling the skein, but I did once I started knitting with it. The fibers felt rustic and dry as I was working with it. The micron count for Shetland wool is approximately 25, which is almost as rustic as Peruvian Highland wool. However, for my sensitive skin, I found this yarn to be too rough for me to knit with for a long period of time. It does soften some if you use a looser gauge and wash it, so keep that in mind. I also wanted to add that Shetland wool, although maybe not the softest, is incredibly light, airy, and warm. For traction, we give it a score of 3 out of 5. Because it's a wooly or more rustic feeling yarn, I experienced a bit of traction or drag when knitting. Now don't get me wrong, it wasn't a terrible experience or the slowest yarn to work with by any means, but it wasn't sliding off my needles. Keep in mind that this may have been because my skin was so sensitive to the feeling of this yarn, so if you're okay with or if you're used to rustic yarns, you may not have any issues knitting with this one. For durability, we give it a score of 3.5 out of 5. Although this yarn appears to have a looser spin of fibers, I didn't notice it coming apart. Typically, the more plies of fibers and the tighter spin of the fibers, the more strength that a yarn has. So the longevity of the strands of this yarn concerned me because these fibers are short and not spun super tightly together. However, the obvious and unusual wave of the shorter Shetland fibers give a lot of elasticity and loft to this yarn. So although this yarn is the finest of any British wool, it is fairly durable. For cost, we give it a score of 3.6 out of 5. For being a 25 gram skein, if you plan on making a sweater with this yarn, you'll probably need to purchase quite a few skeins. If purchasing in the United States, you can expect to pay $6.50 US per skein, meaning a size medium sweater would cost approximately $65 US. I did notice that this yarn runs at a cheaper price if you are in Europe, but if you do want to order there from the United States, you'll need to factor in conversion rates and shipping. If you plan on utilizing the color range of this yarn for color work, this cost for a finished garment may increase for purchasing extra skeins and having some yarn left over. Overall, we give Shetland Heritage a score of 3.2 out of 5. If you're like me and are someone with sensitive skin, this probably isn't the best choice of yarn to knit with. But if you're making knitwear and live farther north in the colder climates, this may be a yarn for you to consider. Once this yarn is knitted up, and maybe if you wear a base layer underneath it, it will definitely keep you warm and should last you a long time. Have you used Jameson & Smith Shetland Heritage yarn before? What yarn would you like for us to do a review on next? We would love to hear your thoughts and recommendations in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's review, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.